Hi, Beavers. Hi, Beavers. Happy Tuesday. So since we last spoke to you, and since I last spoke to you last week, Mary Beth and I are engaged. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I popped the question to Mary she Beth. She did, and I said yes. On Friday of last week, <laughs> and she said yes. I had went home to Michigan um, the weekend before had gone uh, to Michigan the week before Easter, and I asked for her mother's blessing. I went to her mother. Did how cute is and that? Old fashioned lesbian. Such an old fashioned lesbian I am. And then um, when we went to, oh, I guess we should tell them the story. You want to know the story? You t- yeah, tell them. So um, when I, when Mary Beth and I first started dating, we would spend time going for walks and um, on the pier facing Manhattan from where we live. And so we took a run with our little doggy, Zara, who you've met in several videos. And we stopped on one of the benches Mm -hmm. overlooking Manhattan. And I was complaining because I did not (laughs) want to run. And Lori said, let's run, let's run, let's run. And I said, okay. And then she stopped on a bench and I said... It's cold. Why are we stopping? Keep it running. It was like it was like fifty. It wasn't, it wasn't quite that warm cold, for but the it was spring, like, but it was still chilly. You so made yeah. me come out here and run. Now you're making me stop, and I'm cold. And I was and like, no, let's just talk know, about our feelings. There's it. not a good way to ask. Okay, well, it's but, hard but, to like but, segue into it. Okay. So with and that Laura being said, Laura wanted to talk about her feelings, and I didn't think anything was up because she always, always talks about her feelings, <laughs> which you guys know because you know her better it's your than fault. anyone. <laughs> you guys know how she always talks about her feelings, and I love that. So I was none the wiser. And then uh, we stopped on the bench and we talked about how it was where we had first like fallen in love, fallen in love. and how I can't picture my life without her, and I got down on one knee and asked her to marry me. And she said yes, and we are engaged now. So the next step is planning our wedding. Um, and <laughs> it is going to be a bigger to do than the royal wedding. And all of you, baby beans are invited. <laughs> yep, all of you are invited. William but... and Kate, watch out. <laughs> yep. Um, so so we are engaged, and I'm so happy. And you know, you know, I'm so happy because ever since. <laughs> Because ever, because ever right. since I I came to New York the first time, and you guys all thought I was oh, like Derek excited, here too. excited because I was dating Michelle. I was actually excited because I was like in love with Mary Beth, and mm-hmm. already, but they all thought you were dating already, Michelle. But already all planning, time. already planning, I'm moving on here. So anyway, so we're engaged, and you'll hear more about that in the future. And then this week's topic. Tell Sorry. Them, tell them what your first job was. At least you talk about. I was a hostess at the Olive Garden. With the mostess. When you hear your family. Yeah, I hear I that. I worked there in high school. It was great. It paid better than uh, most other jobs. My first job was at um, a record store. I thought a record store is not that cool. It's, no, but it was like FYE, and it was like CDs and movies and video games, and I alphabetized things. Really well, I didn't work in high school. I was too busy being a valedictorian. I was a valedictorian, too, and I worked in high I, school. Booyaka shop. I had to work harder than you. Thanks. Oh, that's a compliment. We were valedictorians oh. at the same high school. Something popped inside. It's okay. It felt good. But different years, we yeah. didn't compete with one another. So you guys might not have known that about us, but we are smart, regardless we of how just stupid act we act. Stupid. Yes, it's it is an act. act. <laughs> it's a ruse. In college, my job was a telemarketer, and I loved it. I telemarketed for the university that I attended, and I raised like almost eighty thousand dollars. Like she had a- no, I would I would fake a stutter sometimes to get sympathy from donors. Lori was just very endearing. It was endearing. I worked in the cafeteria. I was in I was actually just really nervous, so I think I actually had a stutter when I was nervous, and I just told people that I faked it. But I mean, I really think I did have a stutter. Oh. And I was a nurse, uh, nurse tech, nurse assistant when I was in college too. That paid really what well. What did I do? In college, you, said you were. Uh, I was a waitress in college, and I worked. Yeah, I worked at the. Oh, that is a good gig to get if you can get that in college because it's only like two or three hours a day and if you can get it in the residence hall where you live, you just go downstairs like show in up. your you crappy show up. clothing, you show up, you do something for two hours. Oh, I was a teaching assistants or graduate student instructors in grad school. Pays for your tuition. 
and you just have to pretend like you're older and wiser. You don't really have to be. You just pretend like it. And I did it uh, in engineering school and grad school. Paid the way. I had to quit one job to go back to school, and I think I picked it up seasonally. My other job, my nursing type job, turned into like a nursing nursing job. Well, and I became a nurse. So, awesome. so I mean, I I like picked jobs that would like line me up for like my career, I guess. Yeah, it's good to it's good to um, waitressing is good for anything. It's so funny waitressing. You can really sell it being good for anything. I used that job more than most other things on my resume actually to get the job. So very yeah. good to diversify yourself in mm -hmm. ways that you think. Like what the hell at the time? What do you have to lose? No, so that that's is. that's the video this week, but um, <laughs> we are very excited. We wanted to share. Tell with you. us how excited we wanted you are. to share with you, Beavers, because you are a big part of our lives, whether you know it or not. But I um, do this thing, but I'm not good at it. Okay, we're supposed to be able to do it together. Don't blow this. You're blowing it. You're blowing it. Your side's wrong. There you go. <laughs> Your side was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beavers, have a happy Tuesday, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.